，预备，走。走 ，breathe in, breathe out, push up, and we turn continuously. Be careful that you don't shift your rotation point. The spine is staying on the spot, and the rotation points they come, so you don't move around. I'll continue to push up the hands. Yes, the hands should be powerful, and continue push up while the hip push down to the ground continuously. Yes, this way you can put. Uh, outward pressure and stretch the spine. Yes, and by turning, you stimulate kidney energy and same time you make your spine straight. You're stretching your spine. Yeah, yeah. The knees stay straight. Yes, and the feet stay on the ground. Yes. Very good. And we slowly go back to the center, and you open. Yes. Relax shoulder. Slowly, hand wrist relax. Relax fingers, and we go back to our basic posture. Yes. If you want to understand Qigong,、uh, either way, it may it be Wu Xing or、uh, Eight Brocades Qigong. Yes.、Uh, we always have a position. And in this position, we have two、uh, power outside, always、uh, directing into the opposite. Yes, this is very important. So we always have、uh, one point where push up, and the other push in the exact opposite. Yes, you will、uh, find this in every Qigong form. Yes, also here when we do it now. Yes, you push both sides. When you do that, you have energy going through you, and in this path, yes, this path that goes through you has a rotation point every time. Yes,、yeah? in the hip,、uh, you have rotation point in the hip. So, where this power is working inside of you, yes, there you have the effect. There you have the effect of the position. You have the effect of Qigong training. So there, this is where the chi will go into. Yes, this is important. So、uh, I think when we start learning qigong, this may be too complicated. But you will find out that the principle always the same.、Yeah? You have position, you fix the power, and then start focusing on the rotation point, and you try to keep this point as clear and calm as possible, and then you coordinate with the breathing. You use the breathing and、yeah? breathe in, breathe out. Because of the breathing, we can do energy transmission. Yes, 
So this basically means that Qi can go in and can be used for Qigong training. Yes. So keep this in mind. Yes. When you want to practice Qigong on your own, you will find the similarities in every uh, position. This way you know your Qigong practice is correct. Yes. How we work with the Qi, you will, um, you will find out in your training. Yes. Uh, if, you, if you want to know more about how Qigong works and in every position, uh, I think uh, Bernhard is now planning. Um, we're doing a Qigong seminar, I think in late summer, so it's very soon, yes, if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Uh, it is way too long for this class here, yes. But what I want to tell you is you try find similarities in your training, yes. Uh, no matter if it is eight brocades Qigong or five animal Qigong, a Qigong principle is always the same. Yeah? We have the same principle. Uh, how, we, how we work with the Qi is always the same. So you put in effort, you focus on these principles and you know how to do the work with breathing and Qi. Yes. So first, when we start with Qigong practice, you should try feeling where your power is needed. Yes. As you're feeling now, the position we have been doing before goes in kidney and stretching here. Yes, you will feel this. Yes, when you do it strong, you put more effort in, you feel here becoming hot. Yes. So first, maybe try feel where is it becoming hot when you do this practice. Yes. This may be the first step when you want to learn Qigong. It's not because we stand here in, or now it's eight o'clock, we practice Qigong, yes, but you don't know why. Yes. It's no good. We should know why we practice Qigong training, yes. If you know, oh, so much pain, yes, something, oh, I, I know I need to do this position, I need to know this kind of Qigong training, yes. This way you know for yourself, yes, you know, mm, I have to do this training, then I know it will improve, yes. So this is the point. When we start learning Qigong, you know where the Qi is going and then you know your effect in the Qigong training. Yes. So when you're starting, try, try feeling which position helping you here. Yes. Okay. Good. For the next one, we do shooting arrow. Yes. So as I told you before, we have hands always push outside in the opposite. Yes. And you try focusing on your hip movement, yes. The hip movement should be slow, quiet, and there's your rotation point, all right? Coordinate with the breathing, rel relax, breathe in, yes. And you have no re resistance in oxygen take in. And then you push outside very strong, slowly building up the power. And same time you rotate your hip outside, okay? We try this very slowly, yes, but try feeling how the position working and try learn the principles of Qigong training, okay? Everybody, so breathe in, breathe out, shoulder relax, yes. When you learn Qigong, you want to know exactly where you put in the power, yeah? So it is crucial that you relax first. Breathe in, I'll build up power, and relax, open, breathing slowly, yes. A shift to the left side. Yes. So, we go into Mabu. So, combo, slowly turn, breathe in. So, hold the breath, turn Mabu, and breathe out. So,
，走。走，走。Our body straight. Don't forget the position. Relax the shoulder and use rotation point in your hip. Knee outside. So. 走，马步，老啊，马步 ，everybody 老，走 ，slowly go up， relax shoulder when you go up， don't raise shoulder， okay， and we go to basic position。<coughs> 